Okay, here we go. Hey, baby. Do you want to come up to my room? I've waited so long for this moment. It feels just right. Mmm, baby. Do you mind if I put on a little music while we do this? Yeah, here we go. The needle's on the record. And that is, I could have that done is, that. And you could have just told me the song. Could have just queue up uh, <laughs> shipping up to Boston. No, but it's funnier if you go. Which I think is one of the funniest songs of all time. I couldn't even. What's that song? Call it. Shipping up to Boston. It's called. Shipping up. To Boston. That's the, is that the one Boston. from um, um, the movie? It's the one for it's the one from every movie about Boston. No, that movie bam, with, bam, 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 like Jack Nicholson's <laughs> last movie. It yeah, was, it's Departed. Just, Departed. Departed has uh, that's amazing. Has features shipping up to Boston very prominently. As Scorsese, who is it by again? Flogging Molly. I think that's Drop their name. Murphy's. No, Dropkick Murphy's. You're right. It's Dropkick Murphy. The real, the, the, the other, real Flogging Molly. The real Flogging Molly. Yeah. Welcome to House of Decline. As you can hear, we have on Dorian today. Dorian has agreed to guest on the show. Yeah. Normally, Dorian's on a podcast called Blogging Molly. He has a, he's true, like a yeah. side man. He's like a side <laughs> man on that show. Yeah, yeah he I'm talks like, about the Irish punk scene. I'm yeah. like the, the color commentary that they all make fun of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're the Adam Friedland <laughs> exactly. of, the, of the Irish of the, punk scene. Exactly, of Blogging Molly. I'm the Adam Of Blogging Friedland. Molly, yeah. Yep. You're a fan of it's, the Pogues? It's honest work. Somebody's got to do it. Huge fan uh, of the Pogues, uh, although <laughs> they're a little too authentic. I'm more into there, like yeah. the third wave, more into the Flogging Molly. More, more into shipping up to Boston. Yeah, and Dropkick Murphys and, yeah. uh, you know. Uh, I love I the Dropkick it. Murphys. I would love a I would love a band called the Armbar O'Neills or the or the Suplex or the Suplex McCutcheons or the or the Pussy Melter uh, McDox. It's a solid name. The Irish the Irish Pussy Hounds. <laughs> that was a, actually kind of good. Solid name. We're the Irish We're the Irish Pussy Hounds, and we're gonna do Irish punk. That's what it all sounds like. So that and, was you thought of that whole bit, right? I thought of that whole bit. That was a bit that I had in my head that I thought was funny. Just inviting somebody up to a room seductively and, you know, whispering into their ear and you know, caressing them softly and then you doing a whole strip tease to shipping up to Boston. You know, you time your thrusts to, to like the beats in the song. That sounds like bad sex. It's a bad that you would have bad sex. It's it, it's a something in the gay community. In the gay community, you're known as a Southie. Uh-huh. You know, if you it's, play that song. During if sex. you're if you're like if you're an Irish twink, you're known as a Southie. And, you know, oh. you love to play the Dropkick Murphys during sex. And I've never heard love, of Southie. You, you're a Southie, yeah. That's what it is. And what is the s- etymology? What's the etymology behind Southie? Uh, you know? It's because you like to go south. You like to you like to suck dick because you know the Irish have a historical predilection towards sucking penis. But that's it's known, not uh, south. It's known about them. It's not really it's, south. It's south is on it? the human body. <laughs> is, it, is it south yeah. on the human body? It's yeah, it's, it's slightly below the equator. Do you, are you sure the the the, the, the the poles, the magnetic poles are head and They apply, yeah. Your magnetic feet. north is your head, yeah. Is it? Are you sure maybe your magnetic north is your nipples and your magnetic south is like the back of your shoulder blades? I guess because we're perpendicular to the directions, we're always, you know, we're always on the Z axis. Mm. Would you rather, uh, well, would you rather die in like a, uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> an accident in like the, um, uh, the transporter from Star Trek, like it fucks up and like fucks. Uh, that's you. a bad death. That's would you rather like die death. like that or drown in the ocean? <laughs> drown, in, wow. drown in the ocean. I don't want to be in the Star Wars universe. I don't want science it's fiction death. I don't want to. Sucks to drown in the ocean. No, it's awesome. Uh, mm. Drowning. I've heard. Is it? No, it's freezing. That's a piece supposed to be. Freezing sort of awesome. Peaceful Drowning's death. awesome. Drowning's not supposed to be good. Drowning's supposed to be very good. <laughs> Sounds pretty bad to me. No, dude, it's yeah. so bad. It's so bad that a form of torture is meant to. No, dude, it feels good to dissimulate it. Have nah, you been water? I have been waterboarded. Well, I know you, that. Yeah, you, you, well, you did it, it to yourself though. Or somebody did yeah. it to you. 
Steve did it to me. But it wasn't a sex thing. It, no, it wasn't a sex thing. It was for it was because waterboarding was in the news. It was a hardcore art thing. You were raising art, awareness. Yeah, we were you were raising awareness. Yeah. You were raising awareness. You were exactly. a bit of a uh, activist. I'm a, I'm a huge activist. Did you, you do know? it in blackface? Were you in I blackface? I did it in blackface, just yeah. like Joni Mitchell did. Exactly. That's uh, what you really got to do. <laughs> so you were a real, a real activist back then. Yeah, I think I was raising awareness of blackface by, by doing a lot of blackface at the exactly. time. Exactly. Uh, I was dancing around, you know, going to festivals, doing blackface, you know, taking on nitrous. the street, yeah, taking nitrous. nitrous, doing blackface, you know. <laughs> I went to law school, did blackface there. I went to my, I went to my law classes, and you know, I stood up and I said, "Look to your left, look to your right." Uh, odds are, none of these people are in blackface, and I am. So I'm raising <laughs> awareness of this. Wow, dude. Um, that's really smart yeah that's really smart that was a really smart thing to that was an activist thing to do you know um and it's because you just feel such a connection to black people yes it's because i feel uh, as Joni mitchell uh said when she justified her use of blackface uh it's because she feels a connection to black men and i, oh, I specifically do specifically well. black men yes. specifically black men you why know, do you think always... Joni mitchell uh felt that connection well we can find out in this or perhaps article. where did she feel <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I couldn't couldn't begin to guess how what I what I see Canadian music icon Joni Mitchell says she decided to appear in blackface on the cover of one of her albums because she feels a connection to black men. When I see black men sitting, I have a tendency to go like I nod, like I'm a brother. She told New York Magazine. Oh, I really feel an affinity because I have experienced being a black guy on several occasions. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what does that mean? That's, it's funny because she and Joe Rogan have that in common. <laughs> they both feel the same connection. Yeah, they feel a I lot I think of... Neil Young should just go on the show, right? He should go should, on the, should the Joe Rogan show. hash it out with show. Rogan? Oh, He's yeah, he, take, he should take it straight to the fucking source, man. Yeah. He's well, Neil Young has debate. other... He has other reasons he doesn't like Spotify, so I think he he was he does, just looking yeah. for a reason. He's also like probably about to die, and he's got to be like he's taking his stand. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Which is it, well, he's probably about to die. I don't I don't love that. I wish he would well live eh. forever. <laughs> I could go either way. <laughs> I don't know. Are uh, you a huge Neil Young guy? Have you? I staked like your, I like your, him. Your well being on Neil Young's well being. I like him, but I like, don't like, like him that e. much. Like E.T., if he flames out, you, you'll go away? E.T., the alien? Yeah, you know how he had a connection to Elliot? Oh, and like how Joni Mitchell has a connection to black men. To black men, exactly. Okay, and now when I black understand. men started dying like E.T., you know, she was, that's uh, when she got really sick. I haven't seen E.T. in quite a while. Uh, It's it's great. That's it's good. Great. I love that's that really little good. guy. Do you, do you guys want to stage a... Uh, like a play with me about E.T. or like a live action theater play. Like we rent out like a bohemian uh, art space. Yeah. And, and like and, an and experimental, it's, but it's just us doing E.T. Yeah, it's called like F.T. Pretty much exactly like the how it is. The fuck terrestrial. The fuck terrestrial. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Except we're all in blackface. And, we're and all in blackface, And it's a musical yeah. with the music of Neil Young and Jenny Exactly, Mitchell. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> because you know we feel that connection to black men like elliot felt to et yes that's good shit uh, um, I, I heard you guys were listening to uh howard stern for a second yeah. we're listening yeah. to howard stern that's what fine. were we listening to howard about who was uh, he well, howard stern was know. interviewing neil young oh really oh really so, do you want to uh, do you want to listen to the interview yeah we can listen to some about, some some stern it's about two minute long video <laughs> You see that? You want to? You want me to do it? I'd like to see a celebrity death match of Howard Stern versus Joe Rogan. <laughs> this so is those from little uh, play guys go after each other. Yeah, this is from 2021. Neil Young is not going to tour until the pandemic is over. A lot of artists are going back. They're performing live, and I understand what. Listen, this is how artists make their living, particularly in your business, in the music business. But you have wow. said, listen, I'm not throwing any live shows. It ain't so happening. Neil Young is standing in front of a map. Um, like a, a giant map like a general and he's frowning he's, <laughs> sta he's, he's standing got, he's yeah and he's got a bunch of places circled x'd out we're losing everybody uh, on the western God. front yeah okay let's see uh real estate and they're not being scientific 
if we followed the, the rules of science and everybody got vaccinated, we'd have a lot better chance. What do you say to these people in your personal life who won't get vaccinated? I've given up. I, I, I'm like, you got to be fucking kidding me. Uh, well, I say, are you vaccinated? And if they say no, I say, well, I'll see you. That's right. That's well, I'll see you. <laughs> if they if they get vaccinated, I'll say no. I'll see. He's the anti-Jordan Peterson. I'll he has see that ya. Canadian Kermit the Frog voice, and he's beloved by a type of a type of loser that, that is very endemic to Canada, uh, a yeah. flannel wearing loser. Which you know, no, not knocking. Neil Young's a great musician. I love Neil Young, but you know, people who like Neil Young a little too much. You know, <laughs> Neil Young's their guy. If Neil Young is your guy, you're definitely a type of guy. You know what I'm talking mm. about? Yeah, kind of like with the Minutemen and you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, fuck off. I, Just because I, I based I, my I, entire I, personality like around Dorian, a band. Kind of like Dorian and Blackface and the Minutemen and you. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know. And me, me with Jimi Hendrix because I'm really you, good at guitar. You're really great at guitar, which is how you're similar <laughs> to Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, nobody um, wants to have a guy anymore. It used to be cool to have a guy, you know. It used to be to be a deadhead or to be well. Dan, uh, Dan is a fish head. That's why I respect cool. Dan fish headedness because he he has a guy. Well, he has four guys, four beautiful guys. Mm. Well, that's uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I guess it's cooler than just having one guy. Uh, yeah. Wow. On-air bong rip from Alex. Very, I haven't uh, done that since episode one. Really? You have been Hell very modest. Yeah. The, past, <coughs> the past 90 episodes, you've been very modest about not doing bong rips on air. Yeah, but I thought now... that was why you always did it at 420. Yeah, we do do it, but we don't get started until like 440, and that's we spend 20 minutes getting, you know... Getting sizzling. Fucked. Getting, getting myrtleizing our brains, you S know. Sizzled. Getting sizzled. Getting sizzled. Uh, you're smoking the weed. I'm drinking the beer. Steven, what are you doing? <laughs> I had a weed gummy. Okay, you're eating the weed. Good. That's what I do. You're, drink, That's... you're doing a dad's weed. Yeah. You know, you, you can't you smoke to... around the kid. You can't blow smoke into your baby's face. Well, I had a vape rig, but I mean. It's too much dealing with weed. I don't really want to deal with that. Like now that it comes in like gummy form, mm -hmm. I don't. There's no other way I'll ever do it. I don't think. Mm -hmm. What if it oh. came in a form like it was in a dildo and you had to suck it out of the dildo? Okay. It's the mm -hmm. only way that you could get it. <laughs> okay, sure, sure. <laughs> maybe uh, maybe they could make it taste like the kind of the cream you put on cinnamon cinnamon buns. No, it tastes like real cum. It tastes, it tastes like, and not is. the cum of like a pineapple health food oh. guy, like a guy that eats a lot of prosciutto. Like so your, it's like okay. really so acrid. It's, it's your cum. Yeah, it's my cum. It would <laughs> okay. taste like my cum. <laughs> oh wow! Well. No, uh, I don't think I, think I go like back this. to. I go back to smoking it at that point. You you wouldn't suck it out of penis the flavored like uh, with my cum. No. Okay. Stephen, that how, acrid, bleachy how taste. hard? How hard was it to not? name your daughter sativa <laughs> like how how gigantic of a struggle was that um i imagine it was like days of sleepless nights and yeah a lot of sleepless nights days sure. of sleepless nights my days were <laughs> were filled with sleepless nights um i mean that's a really nice name. I had my heart set on Mercedes. Um, oh, of course, yeah. Because I think Mercedes is the most beautiful name. Right. Yeah. Mercedes is a beautiful. The Second next door, the next door neighbors named their daughter Lincoln. That's sure. Whoa, that's why not really interesting. That's and great. I'm like, is it like the car? Did they name it after the car? Or they Lincoln named it after Park. the president. The president? Or their favorite Broad City character, <laughs> played no, by Lincoln Hannibal Park. Burris. Oh, that is probably unfortunately that is maybe true. That might Huge be the Broad real... City fans. Oh, that. How many be... twins out there do you think are named Sativa and Indica? There's more than one. How many do you think are named Alana and whatever the other person's name is? <laughs> <laughs> Alana way, and Abby. Way worse. Someone has yeah. named their twins Alana and Abby, the yeah. which is such huge Broad That's City fans. Not good. Or massive I Broad City fans. I would not episode. enjoy that at all. That would not be good for me. Abby, Alana. Well, there's the uh, the famous marijuana Pepsi. Uh, Professor marijuana Pepsi. I like Doctor marijuana Pepsi. I like yeah, those I like girls. Her too. Sorry. 
Who? What? I, I like those no, there, girls. There's a lady named Marijuana Pepsi. I even forget though, her last name. Even if they have Hillary Clinton on their show, I don't care. Oh, yeah. That was oh, the Broad City weird. girls? You, yeah. You'd like them despite the Hillary? You like Broad City? What do you like about Broad City? It's funny. They're funny. Yeah, it could be pretty funny. Yeah, I don't dislike it. I just, that was, that was... That, that was fucked was, up. Yeah, that was that a crazy was, episode. That was one I, of the yeah. most fucked up things I've ever seen in my entire life when that yeah. happened. The I timing don't... of it and the whole like shebang was like, that was crazy, man. Like I never, never, like even The Simpsons wasn't like jingoistic. It didn't choose a side, you know, it wasn't very pro Bill Clinton, you know. It seems like, the, can you remember like, an was there a Friends episode that was very pro Clinton or... Was there a, like a... No, I mean, but yeah, that would be insane if Bill Clinton so. went on Friends. Yeah. Like, that's the compare. That'd be comparable, but that'd be insane. It, well, if he was... <laughs> so it, when Bill Clinton was running, so it would be the 90s. So if, like, Bill Clinton went on The Cosby Show and was like, Hey, everybody, I like you, Cliff Huxtable. I like you, Bill Cosby. We have a lot in common. <laughs> he went, he went on SNL, right? Or wait. Maybe after. he went on Arsenio. His Bill Clinton's yeah. famous big big TV moment was Arsenio, and then he played that's the saxophone talk show. on Arsenio. Yeah, that's he didn't a talk play show. saxophone it makes sense on for him SNL. He didn't play the SNL theme on the saxophone on SNL. No, that he would played be so sax fun. on Arsenio's show. <laughs> okay, yeah. cool. I was like trying to toss around a joke about Bill Clinton was so likable because he was the originator of male vocal fry. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, hey, it's me, Bill Clinton. Uh, hey. That's cool. <laughs> I'm gonna eat out your pussy. Have you guys um, seen the the video of um Pete? Who's the weird guy that ran for president? Buttigieg. Yes. Pete Buttigieg. Yeah. Playing uh all blues on the piano. <laughs> That's it, is, is, is he like doing it soullessly? He, yeah, he's doing a bad job. He's he, doing a bad he's job. Doing a real bad job. It's like Maybe outdoors. It's really amazing. I would highly uh, recommend it. There's an amazing video of our former prime minister Stephen Harper playing "Let It Be," and you know, the crack guy. Is that the guy? No, that's crack? that's Rob Ford. He's the the mayor. dearly departed Rob Ford. Oh, okay. He was the mayor of Toronto, and now his brother is the premier of Ontario. He died. Yeah, he died of cancer. Is it Pete oh. Buttigieg plays Miles wow. Davis? Is that the video? That must that must that's got to be it. Unless there's he, multiple videos. Is he outside? He's outside. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's see. If let's I hear can... a few bars of Miles from Old Pete. <laughs> he's on the keys. He's yeah, on unfortunately, the keys. he's not really like the center instrument. He's kind of a backup guy. And this isn't like a really difficult song to play. Oh, he's a shithead. I mean, this is fine. No, he's a shithead. It sounds like shit. Yeah, you can't see him. You have to, like, he's smirking. Him. He's, like, fucking rolling his head around. Yeah, and we're smirking. doing jazz. This is what jazz sounds like. I was taught jazz by an old black man. That's right, why I do blackface. Let's, let's I think check I back should in do with, blackface. Let's check back in with the old Neil and Howard. But really, and, I'm just, I'm actually very happy to be here on the planet to see this and to, to bear witness to what's going on. I'm not happy about what's happening, but I am definitely very happy and thankful that I was born at this time that I get to see this. This is an amazing moment in the human history. We are, we, this is, there's never been anything quite like this. And, and <laughs> I say shit like that all the time. Maybe I am Neil what? Young. Yeah, what does that mean? Should, yeah. Yes, there you know, has. It was like, we're... <laughs> people were alive when the last pandemic, like the last pandemic was like a hundred years ago. I guess there was once, never a time like this, you know. I guess They're once in a century, energies. once in a century is pretty cool. I guess. You know, we're transforming. You know, technology and people getting together and you know running a lot. People are running a lot now, and I don't like mm -hmm. that. <laughs> and you know, it's just a different time. You know, it's a different time that we had than last time. You know, time was slower. Time used to be slower, and now time's a lot faster. It looks like what, what he's saying. standing in front of is a, it's not, it's a map, right? But it's, what it is, is it's a projection of a map on a chalkboard. Okay. So he can draw, he can draw on the chalkboard on the map with chalk and then erase it. I think Neil Young's trying to invade someplace. Yeah, he's, he's going to invade with his younglings. 
He has oh, a brood. He's gonna take over the convoy, the truckers. Yeah, he's gonna take over the trucker convoy. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna become the leader of the trucker convoy. Are you man or are you mice? I'm Neil Young. Follow me. I'll be your surrogate father figure. I think it's weird because I feel like uh, it's really weird. The Howard Stern thing's really weird because I feel like who he was like 20 years ago, mm -hmm. if somehow the COVID shit was then, I think he would have been more of a Joe Rogan about it, actually. Mm -hmm. You think so? Yeah. You think a yeah, mirror ball so, era? Yeah. And, well, 20 yeah. years ago is 2000. And what was he doing? Howard, Howard Stern. Not Neil Young, Howard Stern. Oh, Howard Stern. Although I would actually say the same for, for Mr. Young, perhaps, if we're talking like the 70s, you know, and mm -hmm. you're like fucking railing coke with, you know what I mean, Van Morrison, and Eric Clapton. Mm -hmm. If he was at you the height of his fame, that. you think he'd be like, uh, he'd be yeah, less man. willing to do this, yeah. You think the fucking Rolling Stones would have stopped touring in like 1969 because of like this shit like you know what i mean i don't i don't think so like they were fucking doing crazier shit than that well hmm I fucking mean, girls fucking underage girls i mean everybody heroin. had to, everybody had to stop <laughs> driving doing blackface, driving yeah. drunk yeah doing blackface doing like blackface, basically yeah. just completely unhinged like they're gonna stop touring because of like a government you know what I mean? Like a, like a been, organization recommendation? A I don't think so. I kind of wish the pandemic happened in 1969. <laughs> I know, me too. That we all wish that. Been so fun. Yeah. Well, then the Manson murders wouldn't have happened, and then Kennedy wouldn't have gotten shot. Wait, that happened in 1963. Then Bobby Kennedy wouldn't have Kennedy gotten shot. Kennedy would have never gotten yeah. shot had he just been wearing a 90, an N95 mask. He would have survived. <laughs> well, maybe the guy would have shot It's his fault. The it would have shot the guy next to him or something. Yeah, it's his Ken own fault Kennedy, for not being safe. Kennedy would have never gotten shot if he was wearing his lucky Nine Inch Nails baseball cap. Yeah, totally his own fault for not yeah. stopping the spread. He loved Nine Inch Nails, and he didn't he didn't represent them on that day in Dealey Plaza when he could have. He loved Neil Young more than anything. Yeah, Kennedy, huge Neil Young guy. You know who else was a huge Neil Young guy? Gandhi. <laughs> Gandhi loved Neil. Young. That's what they say. Yeah. Do you think Gandhi, Gandhi would have been pro vaccine? Uh, I think we can all agree. No, I think uh, he would have been anti. Um, no, you know, I don't think. You so. think that you know, no judgment, but Hitler would have been pro vaccine. Oh. Mm, no, that's <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty wide spectrum of people can be pro vaccine. Yeah, you know, you don't would, have pretty to, much would, everyone. Would would Hitler have? That's a really that's a good one. Probably. Yeah. I guess he, he probably yeah. would have been. I think Stalin would have been pro vaccine. I think Churchill would have been I think like a lot of leaders at that time. Especially like, when it's not too hard to connect the dots on self interest there with like mm -hmm. boy, if everybody gets vaccinated, then like no like nobody dies, including the people I like. But I guess if you, Do you, think you know, maybe he's probably anti vaccine for certain people. Right. Maybe he wouldn't have let 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 yes. the Jews get it. He would have doing not, the eugenics. But they're still doing the it. eugenics. It's still like uh poor people don't get as many vaccines. Yeah, I mean America is people. doing that right now. We're like, we will <laughs> which countries are we gonna pick? <laughs> Mm, I wonder. I wonder which countries will get the needles. Mm, I wonder who will get the life-saving medicine. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Yeah, it's like eeny, meeny, eeny, whitey, meeny, whitey, whitey, yeah, whitey, whitey, whitey. We're giving it to whiteies. That's it. Uh, That's amazing. Uh, so yeah, in the, in the news is so Joe Rogan's been spreading vaccine misinformation. <laughs> Jordan what, Peterson was on his podcast in a tuxedo. Uh, Joe Rogan's been saying uh, specifically stuff that, like, um, the rates of myocarditis are higher from the vaccine than from COVID, which is false. What the and fuck some, even is that? Some Nobody even knows what that is. Some heart, Australian guy went on there deal. and back, he back checked him. What's myocarditis? That's, that's inflammation of, like, your... I think it's like your heart. It's like it's when you lining. get it's a fat heart. You get a fat like, heart. No, it's inflammation mm. around your heart. Yeah, uh, and like, you don't want that. You don't want it. Um, you don't want a caused, heart. But you're saying it's caused by the vaccine. Yeah, uh, they're well, saying but Joe COVID Rogan causes it way more. He he says you're way more likely to get and it. He, and Joe Rogan was saying the opposite. So Joe Rogan was like, the vaccine's worse for myocarditis than COVID. And then some guy was like, that's not true. And then 
Rogan on the show is like, Jamie, can you Google that? And then Jamie Googles it and he's like, uh, yeah, you're wrong. And Joe Rogan has to kind of be like, oh, I thought it was different. And that's yeah. what this is all about. <laughs> well, it's more yeah. than I mean, it's a it's a it's a pretty routine for him. It falls within the vague libertarian stances that he has. You know, it's like oh, vaccine mandates. Uh, you know, you're putting weird stuff in your body from the government. There's a conspiracy it's, to microchip you. Know, it's, it's all, all very annoying because it's like sixteen out of like a hundred thousand people get myocarditis from the vaccine, and then like eighty people out of a hundred thousand people get myocarditis from covid so we're talking about i don't know a, a hundred guys <laughs> mm. hundred guys and wow. we're like we're breaking contracts with spotify you know oh my god everyone needs to quit overreacting i don't think anyone actually cares about vaccine mandates about uh these about shit about joe myocarditis says. yeah I don't think people really people point. really give a shit about what joe rogan says that seems weird to me people on both sides of remember these, he was on the man the wasn't he on the man show he was on the mm -hmm. he was on the weird final season of the man show with him he was also on that Doug weird Stanhope. sitcom was it uh, news radio yeah and famous fear factor we're and going every, just through the greatest rogan hits now every uh ufc match mma he's he was also mentor. nell in the movie nell you remember the movie nell about the feral girl who had the made-up language he was nell and then like, she goes on an erotic journey she goes on an erotic journey that was and joe it's rogan. just yeah it's just joe rogan getting his pussy blown out for two hours while speaking in the nell language <laughs> uh he was he oh, was in man. he was in angels in the outfield as the boy really he was the boy in angels in the outfield yeah looking up his really? imdb no, yeah i'm looking up his imdb right now he was angels in the outfield as the boy uh what, what he... kind of music does he like do we know does... <laughs> I, 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 I'm he probably likes that ai generated rock music we were listening to he likes post rock. You think yeah, he, he likes, likes post rock? post rock made by computers. He's a big explosions in the sky fan. I think he's probably a big Metallica fan. <laughs> yeah, oh, I mean that's a, that's an easy one. Yeah, yeah, probably. I, I don't probably. Know. But you, everyone's I, a big. Who isn't a fucking big? I love Metallica. Guy. They're great, but they're very yeah. dumb music. It's 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 very doofy. I would describe yeah, Metallica like, as doofy music. Probably mm. tried to listen to Rush and was like, it's too smart for me. Oh, I think he probably <laughs> likes Rush a lot. Yeah, he probably definitely likes Rush a lot. I mean, yeah, songs about the the really nice, expensive car in your garage. It's awesome. <laughs> oh, we can actually find this out, though. So. What music does Joe Rogan like? Yeah, we can What's actually possibly, if we believe He was a big Dave this. Matthews fan. What if, if it's we... like, what if it's like he loves like power violence? He's just a huge and he loves, he loves very obscure genres no, of music. Like, so it's basically He's as, a big lightning bolt fan. It's basically as uninteresting as, and as expected as you can imagine. He likes Led like, Zeppelin. Yeah, exactly. It's just like fucking classic rock and like black keys. AC, DC, black keys. That's funny. Yeah, just like dumb shit. <laughs> black keys is a Fuck very funny band. I would like uh, to hear Joe Rogan and Howard Stern have a conversation. Have they ever? Have they ever I, been on each other's shows? I think it's very important that they find a way to make that happen. What do you, What kind of things do you think they need to communicate? And they could have Neil other? Young on too, and they could have Kid Rock on. They should Kid have Rock. Kid Rock or somebody on. else, or like Van Morrison. Yeah, Some, no, someone like Van representing Morrison. the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah your Van, Van Morrison would be good. They should have. Yeah, it's all four of them. Getting down and dirty. Uh, I've always wanted Roger <laughs> Waters to to spar Adam Sandler about Israel on Howard Stern because mm -hmm. that once had Roger Waters went on Stern and he said, "Oh, you free Palestine. I love Palestine. I oh. love my kids. I love my Palestinian kids." And Adam oh, Sandler was like, "I don't kids. like Roger Waters. He was talking smack <laughs> about Israel." <laughs> That's a good Sandler. I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat your ass, Roger Waters. The wall. I'm gonna put you up against the Wailing Wall. Whoa! That's uh, a good Sandler. 
But okay, so that that's what something uh, why I started the episode by going bam, 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 is because mm-hmm. I wanted to know what are your, what are your opinions on the funniest songs of all time? Mm. It can be intentional or unintentional, but just any song that comes to your head that when you think about it, start getting a little smile on your face. You start thinking, you start thinking funny thoughts. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, what are some of those for you? Uh-huh, what are oh, some of no. those? Some of the funniest songs. For you? I'll get the ball rolling. I think Uptown Girl is an extremely funny song. You think Just that's funny? It right you down. think yeah, that's think fucking Uptown funny? Girl you think a... that shit's fucking funny? I think they're Uptown Girl. I'm living in a wet bed and burr. It's a very goofy melody. Hmm. It's been okay. used for many jokes. Yeah. It's been well, used in 30 Rock for a joke. It's been used in Step Brothers for a joke. I have a, and, I have one. Okay, you got one. Sherry by um, The Four Seasons, I think. Sherry, Sherry, yeah. baby, Sherry. That's yeah, funny. That's How funny is that funny? Song. What's funny about that? Because they're in that, high voices. They use high voices. Because they use high voices. Yeah. It, they're very. Uh, it's very annoying. Yeah. Um, <laughs> very annoying. Yeah. Songs that would be funny if, like, yeah, you know how in in um, um, a girl with the dragon tattoo, the David Fincher one, um, Stellan Skarsgård tortures Daniel Craig to Orinoco Flow by Enya. And it's funny because the music oh. is juxtaposed. Orinoco Flow, very funny song. Enya, very funny musician. Mm. Only Time is an extremely the, funny song. I mean, she's one of the greatest artists of our time. She is one of the greatest Second artists. Second only of our to time. Yanni. Yanni and Enya and all those 90s new age musicians who, you know, good for good yoga music. Good to practice yoga. Too. Yanni? You trying, trying to fucking practice to Yanni? You've been. You'd you be doing hard some time. hardcore shit. You're bending yeah, around. Some, some wacko shit. Yeah, you're flipping around. I mean, like Spider Man. Uh, Radiohead has a lot of funny music. Ra- Radiohead does have a lot of funny it's music. It's not unusual. That's a funny song. That's a very funny song. It's not unusual to be a little by yeah, anyone. I knew you were going to sing it. I knew you were going to sing, sing all of these. I knew you were going to sing it. You can't resist. Not you're unusual. Sh- you're to be loved by anyone. You're born Better, showman. Ma- yeah. Harry Showman. Yeah. Harry Showmanstein. Harry, the greatest showmanstein on earth. Harry Showmanberg. I was a born showman. I was born on the vaudeville stage. My I mom born, queefed was, me out into a basketball net. I was born when Frankie Valley first met the Four Seasons. Mm. That's where I was born. At that meeting. <laughs> I was born in New Jersey in 1950s. Me, Harry Showmanstein. And it, we, we heard their music, and it went a little something like this. Do you think Martin, you think Martin Scorsese's house has that old person smell? <laughs> I think it smells like garlic. <laughs> like I, yeah. Probably yeah. smells like weed. Probably smells like weed. It smokes a lot of weed, yeah. Probably. Mm-hmm. Him and John Carpenter get together and smoke Probably a lot of like weed. smells like weed and wine mixed uh, together. I don't know why. I just picture him cutting garlic with a razor blade like in Goodfellas. He does mm-hmm. it like that just because it was so cool in the movie. So now I do it in real life. Garlic doesn't. Garlic does not just dissolve in the pan He's, if you cut it with a razor blade. He just <laughs> shoots it. He shoots it with a gun to cut it. He, yeah, that's that's a Scorsese move. He likes first, his gun violence. Classic, first I inject classic Marty mm-hmm. shooting the garlic. It, 90s era mobsters inject the garlic with heroin before they slice mm-hmm. it. Exactly. Because they're in the heroin in the 90s. Mm-hmm. That's what The Sopranos was all about. That's what everybody was Dante. doing. We were all doing it back then. It was the 90s. <laughs> Heroin chic. You're some of your Dad? favorite guys. Jennifer Harema was responsible Dad, for Dad, heroin. Did you chic. ever do it, Dad? Did you ever shoot up? It was the '90s, Sativa. We were all doing it. <laughs> <laughs> it was normal. We didn't know how bad it was yet. No, nobody knew about heroin. You know, the Sackler family. We treated them like gods. You know, we it's had like when big... I, this is reminds me of when I asked my parents what dropping acid was because I was reading a Beatles book mm-hmm. and they told me it's something that old people do. 
<laughs> that's funny. That's a very that's a very funny answer to that question. Confused <laughs> the living shit out of me for a long time. You imagine that every old person around you is just I, tripping acid all the time. Yeah, I just thought it was like like something that old people did for like their health to like keep them to like keep themselves healthy because they're aging. And I that's... pictured them injecting it into their arm too. By the way. Well, that's how you do it. I mean, have you ever had acid intravenously? It's supposed to be crazy that way. Ooh. I mean, I've, you know. You ever boofed, do needle acid? I've boofed it, of course. You've, of course you've boofed, you've boofed it. acid. About as far, that's, yeah, that's about as far as I'll go. Did you use a little a little dropper? For the boof? No. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. Boof For the boof? No. <laughs> I put it, it's like icicle. Oh, and I, you froze yeah. it into an icicle? I you dipped froze an ice it into an icicle. <laughs> I dipped put an icicle into it. that in your asshole. It. Yeah. I dipped an icicle into it, and I rubbed Vaseline all over it. <laughs> We were all doing it back then. Yeah, we were all just boofing acid, you it know, totally put, making normal. acid icicles and putting them yeah, up our asses like... and boofing. What if you rolled a little piece of paper into a into a gelatin capsule and then boof that? A piece of paper? Yeah. Oh, the yeah. acid and what piece yeah. of paper like soaked in acid? Mm-hmm. I mean, you could just put tabs in your asshole. I bet oh, it would yeah. be itchy, like when you have toilet paper come in there. That's there. funny. That'd be a funny way to do it. Have to extract a bunch of shitty acid. Yeah, tabs. you could also just like dip all your toilet paper in it, and then just like. When what you if wipe you? Your hey, butt. hey! What if you dipped your balls in in a in a, in a hey. liquid of liquid hey, drugs? Hey man, what if you what if you dipped your balls <laughs> that in would, acid, man? That would be really cool. <laughs> I like I like the. I like you said dip your balls because it brings a funny image to mind of being naked and you're holding your penis so that the shaft isn't showing and only the balls are showing and you're squatting and you're on your tippy toes while you're squatting because it makes you more aerodynamic and you know you have your ass sticking out. Your balls are dangling down. You're pulling them down. Damn. Wow, that's vivid. I, I would just put it on a table like like a, like a desk and then so okay. I wouldn't even have to so I wouldn't About as high as the kitchen sink, you know. yeah. You yeah, ever so put was, your balls on the kitchen sink? You know, I no. think I did that in high school. Yeah, I think I went through a phase of putting my balls on things. Yeah, I'm still um, in that phase. Really? Yeah. If it's anything is about ball height, you know, balls are there. There's some places you can't get them that I'm like always like looking at, kind of wistfully staring up at the ceil at the ceiling light, being like, can't yeah, get my like, balls up in there. It's like, like you looking, wish... looking for skateboard spots. You're kind of like looking around here. <laughs> Like, yeah. Oh ah, man! I could pop my balls right on that. <laughs> perfect, it's the perfect height. Yeah, yeah. And just looking at the garbage disposal is the final frontier. Oh yeah. Ooh. You know, Ooh. that's the Hellraiser thing. You know, that's the pain of pain of pleasure. You want pain of pleasure? Is that Pinhead? I guess I don't. I don't remember that those. Your movies. pinhead impression. Is it cool if I pee real quick? My pinhead impression. Would you like yeah, this? Would you like to fuck my pins? All this talk of balls is making me have to pee. You have to go yeah. piss. You have to go piss. Go. All right, I'll, rep- I'll make. I'll give you a full report. Okay, you all could bring right. the mic in. Bring the mic in. I don't know if the cable is long enough. Can you just bring it as far the... as it will go? Yeah, bring just. <laughs> it's definitely not long enough. Here, BRB. Well, I was um thinking about how it's always better to have longer mic cables in case you need to you know do an impromptu suicide on air <laughs> yeah yeah you think anybody has ever has ever uh, choked to death on a mic cable yes how many people do you think have choked to death on mic cables hundred thousand That'd be, that'd be, if you're a musician, that's like a good way to die you know you want right. to die in that ironic I way, want to die right? being electrocuted by the that's uh, a cool way by the guitar that happened to a guy being electrocuted by the guitar yeah it happened there's a news art you can find it you got to search for it i mean it's sad he was playing live on stage and there was a bad circuit between him the microphone stand and him and the guitar and the amp and he like you know that thing with really strong electricity where you grab it and then it's so strong that you like it tenses your muscles so you can't yeah. let go yeah that yeah, happened yeah. to him that's just crazy that's but and he became electric rock in the process his soul was purified by the protons streaming through his body yeah i'd like to think that yeah he basically became pure electric rock and roll became pure electric rock and roll that's what happens if that happens but i I kind of think they were like one of those folk 
folk bands. You know, there's electric uh, folk bands that are in England and well, the maybe 70s. he become electric folked. Maybe he became the ultimate folk god. Right. Yeah, he became like a Norse god of some kind. Yeah, he became like a, a Thor type, but like I'm a back. like a, a cozy British Thor. He's back you know, from he's the like, Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hammer. Dorian back is back from, from the his piss. piss. So how is how is your piss? Uh, normal color, little to Good. no odor. How much uh, blood this time? I was gonna say no blood. No blood uh, that I could see. You ever you ever expel an old piece of cum when you piss and it just nope. feels so good? You know, Never. people say that, and I don't even believe them when they say it. Mm-mm. You know, you just get an old piece of cum lodged up in there. Yeah, I don't know. Does that no. happen? It doesn't happen. Sometimes Does it, it happen? happens to me. Yeah, I get, I get some, you know, leavings. You know, not all the cum gets out. I have more. trouble eating too much spaghetti too quickly, but that's about it. Uh, <laughs> that's your only problem in the world. <laughs> that's really the only problem. I have. <laughs> you, you, through you the eat urethra, spaghetti too quickly. You eat it through your urethra. Yeah. <laughs> it's really difficult to do. It's, you got it. Your urethra goes both ways. It's a two way, and you can yeah. suck spaghetti up through it. It's, it's like a cloaca. It keeps going out and coming in, and going awesome, out. Right? I can't get into my. It keeps going in and out. It goes yeah. down your mouth and it comes right out your penis hole. Yeah. <laughs> just, just <like> a butter <laughs> noodle flips right yeah. out. And then when you eat a really long one, you have like a full body floss going on. Yeah. Oh. Kind of situation. That yeah, feels good. You, you go in front of your wife and you go, honey, look what I can do. You're just flossing yourself with a Very big long impressive. strand of spaghetti. <laughs> nice. Oh, That's my good. God. What are oh, funny songs? You know, what? think of a funny song. Oh, well, oh, I was yeah, your funny song. I was going to say uh, maybe a Harry Nilsson song, but his songs are not that funny. Maybe. Oh wait, no. Yes, the coconut. Put the lime in the coconut. Put the lime in the coconut. That's funny. Yeah, that's a pretty funny song. That's a pretty funny. But that's sort of that's intentionally funny. He meant it to be goofy. He meant it to be a little silly. Okay, but it's really good. It's pretty. It's good. It's a great song. I like 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 when songs aren't aren't meant to be funny at all. Like which uh, songs? Accidental racist. Yes, that's a very <laughs> funny song. Accidental Racist is an extremely funny song. Uh, <laughs> I am really happy to report to you that this man on the street gave me a business card today. Cool. Uh, I'm coming out of nowhere with this, dealer. but I just remembered this. I was shoveling snow, yeah, which I love doing. Because on the streets some, of New on York City, of, baby. On the streets of Queens, because people somehow really like it they like like to see that i'm doing it or there's like a weird solidarity i guess in it oh you're a working man he's a working man so he's got a he's got a metal he's got a metal and he's got a spirit i get i get a lot of respect when i'm out there and i get a lot of uh i have a lot of strange conversations that i normally would not have and oh, so you're shoveling snow there. It's cold enough for you it's not canada i don't live in canada but i i do uh I did receive this card today and he was like, okay, it was like this guy walking past and he like, didn't really look at me, but he spoke pretty clearly, no slurring, you know, he was articulate, you know what I mean? But he he wasn't like looking at me, but he was like, Hey, can I interest you in something? (laughs) I was like, Okay. <laughs> so maybe he's a bit neurodivergent, and not an eye contact guy. And he was carrying something in a black bag. So I was like, yes. Like when you say a black bag, you mean like a suitcase or like a One of those like bag. shopping bag. Yeah, one of those like black, those bags that I thought maybe we're supposed to not be allowed anymore, but are obviously still uh, at large. Those so black, yeah, carrying something shoppers. in a plastic, there's always something chintzy to that. And either. then he gave me this card. Okay, I'm looking at this card now. There's the graphic on it is a robot yes, with his finger pointing to his forehead. And yes. it's trendsforprofit.com. Yes. And at first I thought like, oh, this is like a weird like crypto market. Like maybe he like thinks he's figured out how to like, you know what I mean, like how to track yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. I just went to the URL and I sent it in the group um Yeah. And boy, am I not disappointed at all. Uh, <laughs> this, the, the headings are the headings of the site are the fo- are the following: politics, save America, freedom at risk, <laughs> socialist. socialist. Oh, you're there. Yeah, China the virus. China virus. <laughs> news, <laughs> news and voter, and voter rights. rights. So that's pretty good. 
Uh, it might be able to, there's videos. We might be able to listen in on on one. Do you want me to want me to put one on? For sure. I mean, I'm, I'll just go click away right at the socialist link here because that's okay. what I am. Okay. I guess that's the link for me. Well, I kind of wanted back to look better. at the. Not really. I kind of wanted to listen to. The, if, I hope it oh, works. Oh, holy by the way, shit! But... Look, listen to this copy. Building back better. Not really. Build back broker with inflation, Ooh. taxation, and lockdown mandates. I love this wow. guy. Do you know why? I I why do you think this man thought that I would be into this? <laughs> Because you're a working man, you know, you're, that's you're out it. there, you know, you're busting your ass, you know, you oh, clearly you have has, a work ethic. All these videos are just o, OAN videos. Yeah, they're OAN uh, conservative. That's kind of videos. disappointing. Yeah, I'm not going to, I thought maybe it was him. He doesn't make his own gravy, but this is some good website design, I have to say. If you go down to the bottom, you can see the guy who, who designed the website, CJ's Web Services. CJ's web and then you can services. click and go to CJ's web services.com and it looks like it's the same guy. <laughs> I do like his definitions of uh, various <laughs> ideologies, though. Have you seen this? Yeah, his definitions of various ideologies lay them on us. It's fascism the government orders you to give the fruits of your labor to others. If you refuse, the government arrests you. Communism the government takes the fruits of your labor and gives it to others. If you refuse, the government arrests you. Socialism well, got us there. the government politely takes the fruits of your labor and gives it to others. If you refuse, the government arrests you. Democratic socialism at the request of 51% of voters, the government politely takes the fruits of your labor and gives it to others. If you refuse, the government arrests you. And then there's another one for democratic socialism for some reason. Democratic socialism, like fascism, communism, and socialism, all are rooted in envy and rely on force. In summary, they are all evil. Oh, there he's you a libertarian. Go. Yeah, he's a taxation is theft type of guy. He wants his stuff. He own hey, he owns his stuff forever. And then after that, his children will own it if he so is to have any. You think this guy's a Rogan guy? Uh, he's a little, <laughs> little worse than that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's into harder stuff than Rogan at this point. Because there, okay, there's like a spectrum to Rogan's community. There are probably hard right people that listen to Rogan, but I don't imagine like the hard right is like the the majority of his listeners. I imagine yeah. most of it's just, you know. Uh, you know, regular, regular dumb guys, you know? Yeah. They say, I'm a dumb who, guy. Like, and this guy, he's really tuned into what I'm thinking right now. Dude, Dude, Rogan, are, Rogan people? Yeah, yeah, Rogan They're people. They're the guys that sell uh, cars at the dealership. Rogan people? Oh. Uh, I'm sure there's a vast, there's MMA fans. Yeah, young salesmen There's salesman conspiracy types. guys. There's comedy nerds. There's, there's, but bro comedy. Uh... uh so many bro people that it, people that it, love the black keys. <laughs> it's weird not having to interact with 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 anyone, uh, you know, uh, during the pandemic because you forget about certain types of people like bros. Mm -hmm. Haven't haven't seen a bro in two three years around these parts. And I know they interact with a, a broish well, person. I think maybe when you get older, also like archetypes of people change. Like maybe mm -hmm. there aren't bros anymore. No, they're mm. definitely bros. Maybe now there's just like wacky dads and like silly moms. Sports dad, maybe yeah. There's like sports dads. The sports dads have dads and book book learning or uh, like library dads. Mm -hmm. Library dads and uh, sports dads. <laughs> which Stephen would be a library dad. Yeah. yeah. If, if, if he had to be one of the two. <laughs> right. Yeah, one of the two. I'm more of a, I want to be an easel. I'm an easel dad. I'm always easel a dad. My easel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be a painterly dad. You're going to just like uh, who is a famous dad who is a painter? Picasso. Hitler. Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Hitler didn't have Hitler. kids, did he? No. He didn't have kids? Nope. Oh, what a shame. What a shame, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's always a shame. His That's legacy a shame. could have been purified. What if he had a baby that was like a really good guy and he Anakin saved Hitler. six million Jews? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And it worked for Anakin Skywalker. Purifying the sins of your father is a classic redemptive theme in our in our Western hegemony, you know. I'm purifying the sins of my dad right now by being gay. Um we have about 
nine minutes left, and I was going to ask Dorian where he was going with his car later. Oh, uh, uh, re uh, a rehearsal. A rehearsal for what? A rehearsal. Uh, it could be anything. <laughs> could be anything. Is it a? Is it your? Is it your um, ass licking practice? It's a so, rehearsal for my live action ET play. It's your I'm live action ET play at the local arts theater. And I Where think you? <laughs> you're doing the circumcision scene today, right? Uh, we're just doing ET. We're doing. We're pretty true to the uh, to the original Spielberg. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Spielberg made sure that, you know, I don't know if you know this, in the director's cut, they do a circumcision of E.T. Spielberg <laughs> insisted on it. Because <laughs> of because of his Jewish heritage? Because of Judaism. Because of oh, Judaism, yeah. he wanted to know, he wanted the audience to know that the the alien had not breached the covenant with Abraham. And, you right. Know. So he's circumcising E.T. and E.T. is letting out this horrific squeal. Like <laughs> And Elliot screaming as yeah. well. <laughs> There's like purple blood is splattering yeah. everywhere. And the Orthodox, the is it a moil? It's a moil, yeah, the Orthodox He's got an Orthodox moil. moil. <laughs> yeah. He's saying all these the funny family. Yiddish phrases because yeah. it's so crazy that there's this alien whose who's, um, foreskin he just had to bite off. Hey, his schmeckle is all schmegeggy. <laughs> How do you spell moil? And E.T.'s like, that's what it's called. How did you know? It's a schmeckle. We get along like moil and vinegar. <laughs> How do you spell moil? M O H E L. Moil. Mochel. Uh, but we pronounce it moil because it's funnier. Because it sounds they, like a guy from Brooklyn saying Merle. Hey, moil. Do, do they? Do they only do that? Or yeah, do that's their entire job. Mm -hmm. That's it. And they don't. No, that's they don't. Not their entire it's job. Their entire penis job. Cutters. Well, penis cutters. And they don't sanitize <laughs> that's their equipment. Not it's their prohibited. entire job. Yes, yeah, it, it is. is not... We're cutting penises today. With no, these dirty knives. They're definitely yeah. like normal rabbis that that also mm -mm. do that. I was mm -hmm. ha I had a joke earlier that I thought was funny. You know how there's an early Spike Lee documentary about Mo like Moe's Barbershop, We Cut Heads. I was like, Moe's Circumcisions, We Cut Heads. That was funny Ooh. for me. Ooh. They were Ooh. cutting heads. I like it. There you go. Uh, <laughs> that, what if they only cut off like half of your foreskin? Like they gave it like a little a little emo haircut. Where oh, it's oh like yeah. Only one oh, flap of foreskin is over your penis. So it'd be like a pop collar. Yeah, oh, that's exactly. not normal. That's not normal. That's not how yours all looks. <laughs> you, you only you have the half foreskin. Yeah, you have the fashionable half foreskin. Yeah, I was half look. and half. I was half and half. So I exactly. Couldn't... Oh, you're a half o. Yeah, you're a half o. Half -o. <laughs> half -o. <laughs> I did not. We were in the presence of a half o. <laughs> there was no, actually there was only one kid in my high school that wasn't circumcised, and everyone made fun of him. Really? That wasn't which circumcised. Is, which is, what kind is, of thing? Hilarious that they made fun of him so much. So they were just looking at his what, penis a lot. What would they I say? Know, somebody had to have looked at it at one point. Um, they would just be like, like, they would just be like, "Ha ha, you're not circumcised," and he like didn't really deny it. <laughs> I mean, well, what do you it say? Just, it just spiraled out of control. He was what like, did they no, call him? Smeg my boy. Uh, they didn't really call him anything. They just oh. they would just say that. They would, they would they just use, go, like, you're the not full, circumcised. The full proper terms, although we were like in elementary school. They call him a full -o. He yeah. wasn't a half o, he's a full -o. That's what yeah. they call people with four skins. Oh, yeah, we made, made fun of him. And then there was another kid who could suck his own dick. That's cool. Uh, and they made fun of him too, but that was later. These were different kids. Hey, uh, what was with that universal <laughs> rumor of Marilyn Manson removing his ribs to suck his own penis? What was well, with that? Was that? The internet. We were, what we were was so with much that? less wise then. That was before the grand internet yeah. educated us all on myths and truths. Who do you think started it, and why do you think it was like? I feel like that. I feel like that's there was something before. Like it wasn't Marilyn Manson. It was Rod Stewart removed his rib so he could suck his own dick. Mm. Or the apocryphal story about Rod Stewart is like they pumped a gallon of semen out of his stomach, right? That's like the what? The gag, like one time Rod Stewart was rushed to the hospital, they had to pump a gallon of semen out of his stomach, which is you know the human. Is he OD'd can't on the... semen? They had to do a stomach <laughs> pump. Yeah, he sucked too many. He sucked too many cocks. Is, is he, he OD'd secretly, on semen? Is he secretly gay? I guess so. In the seventies, everyone was gay, though. You know. Yeah, Mick the Jagger cocaine was sucking a lot cocaine of Cocaine does like yama. Oh, I cocaine love makes penis. you like 
Does cocaine make you pansexual? Sure. How many dudes do you think Mick Jagger fucked? A lot of dudes. Four. He's fucked a, a lot? lot of dudes. Probably not Four. a lot. No. Four. Four. Okay, like, probably a it, couple. I bet it was David Bowie, Lou Four? Reed, Iggy Pop, and then Billy Preston. I'm going to go with 14. Whoa. He's and it might even be more. Maybe 24. Definitely something with four. I think getting a I, strong four sense. I'm gonna highball you all. I think Mick Jagger. Um, I well, it depends on what you do. You have uh, is getting your penis sucked by a man gay sex to you? No. Uh, okay. I mean, kind of. Yeah, I would no. say yes. <laughs> I, <'cause laughs> I think if we're counting that, then I think it's like hundreds of times. Whoa! Holy huh. shit! Why would he do that with all the young? It's fourteen year olds with around. all the fourteen year olds around because hey, you want something. To, you want a bloke sometimes, you know. You know, yes. you want a man. You I don't want a man. You don't want the cooking. suction of a man. You know, <laughs> uh, stronger lungs. Suction. Stronger suction. Stronger suction. Suction. Uh, you know, stronger suction power. <laughs> uh, what What does Mick Jagger's voice sound like? I can't do a Mick Jagger. Do you think he voice. was circumcised? Probably not. I don't think he was circumcised. I don't think wasn't. they all were. I don't think hmm. any of the Beatles were circumcised. Yeah, I don't think Jagger the British people. It didn't catch on in British uh, British land, Brit Britain. That's why they were called oh, the wait. Fab Foreskin. It was mm. big on Long Island, let me tell you. I bet. Cutting. And in fact, <laughs> if you weren't, you were relentlessly mocked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seems like it's the kind of thing that once you you've seen it, you might even lie about it. And make sure no one ever sees your penis. And then it kind of starts affecting all your relationships because you never want to see, because you're, you tell your girlfriend, your best girl, like, I, no, of course I am. But then you never show her your sometimes penis. Sometimes I think about, well, some, sometimes I think about like uh, sex, like way back in the day, like way back in the day, like when there is no like pornography really or is less readily available, like people probably did it without looking at it. You know, like you'd probably just go to the covers, <laughs> and it was just like you would just be in in there inserted. You'd do it through a sheet, like Orthodox Jews. Yeah, maybe not through a sheet, but perhaps like under a sheet in the dark. You know. Yeah. Like, well, how long ago are we it. talking? Ah, uh, like hundreds of years. Hundreds, of, like, like medieval times. Four hundred. Yeah, like four hundred. Four hundred yeah, years ago. ago. You think people yeah. weren't looking at their genitals back then because they of their Christian I think modesty? They were looking at they were looking at their own genitals, but I think there was a lot of weird, loveless, arranged marriages where people would just kind of have to take dick, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Just like, just for money or whatever, mm -hmm. for like family reasons. And I, uh, yeah. <laughs> they probably didn't want to see it. You, know? it. And you think the hottest, what was, you, you think the hottest sex back in, like, if there was a sex competition and we brought all, like, the best sex champions from every century... You mm. think that we we currently would have an advantage? Well, we would. Uh, I think Sting would be our. There's a, Sting would be our sex champion. There's a depiction yeah. of sex in no, the movie. No, he's the 20th century sex champion. There's, He'd be there's, our there's, pro. there's an interesting depiction of sex in the medieval movie The Last Duel that kind of runs counter to your theory. Um, oh, they had really, really passionate, it was fucking super filthy and graphic. Well, the it was they're French, so they're very you know. <clears throat> just smegma in the eyeball. Mm -hmm. At a certain point, the French invented orgies, <clears throat> and they they just did them nonstop. And that was I don't some... think you can attribute that to the French. Yes, it was. It was the it French. Seems like a Greek. Seems like more of a Greek thing. No, no, it was French. The Greek, the French invented orgies with women. Right. Oh, not not boys. Because right, yeah, the exactly. Greeks were boy fucking. They were oh, fucking boys. We got all those over the Greeks. Place. We got, they, we we got them again for their the boy Greeks fucking ways. <laughs> Nobody is safe. We got them at uh, least. Nobody is it, safe from our scathing critique. Is it true? It is me, our... the Greek pedophile, George <laughs> hey. Namblopoulos. Hey, is it, it is true me. That, is it true? Hilarious, biting critiques. Is it true that the only good parts of Greek food come from when, like, the Ottoman Empire conquered them? Yeah. Uh, anything good about Europe is because of the Turks. Right. And, like, like guitars, what, uh, guitars, coffee, yeah. cocoa. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The Beatles, Gyro, um, Poco, Norse, Norse death metal, the Norse gods. Comes uh, oh, from you guys Turkey. talk about that. You guys talk about that a lot. Uh, hmm? That guy Varg. Varg, yeah, <laughs> Varg's. Uh, everybody loves Varg. I didn't he's, even know who that was he's, until y'all were talking about him like every day. <laughs> yeah. Well, because I, I confused for... him at first with Vaz, Vaz, or like, isn't there like a YouTuber guy? 
that you guys talk about too that starts with a V? Oh, Va- Vosh. Vosh. Yeah. yeah or no, I haven't I, thought about Vosh in a long like, time. Vosh? Like, he's doing that? Except sometimes Vosh hypes my comic of him and I get followers on Twitter off of it. So thank you, Vosh. We love you. Oh, diff- okay, so different person. Uh, right? uh, yeah, Vosh is a big dumbass. Vosh Confirmed. is a big dumbass on YouTube. Confirmed. And, uh, he's, he's a pro NATO. He's very pro NATO. He's, mm, he's, a he's a hawkish. He's a hawkish leftist. That's a funny. That's a funny thing for a fat computer man. Why to would do. anybody <laughs> take that position? <laughs> yeah, it's um, so unnecessary. Because yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. It, what do you? I haven't that, investigated. What do you his think on that it. does? That's good for anyone. I think the argument is that uh, you there is some element of Western chauvinism, and we do believe that our culture is worth spreading around the world, and it's worth forming a vanguard against inferior. Uh, versions of it or something like yeah, that. Yeah, Russia sucks, dude. Fuck it, you know? Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought you loved Russia. Yeah. No, I I'm, have that's, no... I'm doing... No, see, I do love Russia. You're, I'm doing... You're, you're, I'm if doing you were Vosh... The character. I am doing the thing. I'm Hello. doing a part. Hello, I'm Vosh. I'm Vosh. I like little girls. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck little girls. I'm Vosh. <laughs> I have opinions about Lego. Come on, I get my Cheerios. I'm eating like Cheerios. Uh, what's your favorite cereal? <laughs> well, Vosh's favorite one? cereal is Little Girl Pussy. I've been, cause, oh, I've been trying to shit. eat cereal. Okay, I've been eating this Kashi Peanut Crunch. That's pretty good. I eat okay. Honey Nut Cheerios. And that's is that the it. keto-friendly one? The keto-friendly Kashi? I've been seeing that at the store. And maybe it's the Kashi, Pe- Kashi Go Peanut Crunch. Kashi go. Kashi yeah, you know, go. It, it used to be called Kashi Go Lean. I guess they got rid of the lean. Yeah, lean has got weird. It, lean is <laughs> is a drug. So yeah, you know, that's why lean cuisine. Go lean. Is go- <laughs> <laughs> you pour it into the cereal. And lean eat it like lean that. cuisine would be a great cooking show. I would love to watch somebody Ooh. nod off. Yeah, cooking. lean cuisine with um. Lean cuisine with uh, pop smoke. Yeah, I want to make a cooking show so badly, but I just don't know how to cook very well. <laughs> <laughs> That's an obstacle. But once I do, you better watch out. I mean, the thing about it, you got to be good at it because the market is saturated with so sos right now. Oh yeah, you got to be YouTube. damn good. A lot of be- beard. Oh, this looks good. Fat, this dude. peanut butter. Mm. Beardy fat. This looks good. This peanut butter crunch. Kashi goat. Yeah, it's pretty I good. Would f- I would fucking shove that down my throat you know what was good you know what i bought um is there's this coconut milk you can get it's not coconut water it's coconut milk so it's like soy milk but coconut milk yeah I, yeah, yeah i yeah, have yeah. the coconut milk with the kashi go that's pretty oh. fucking good do you you must feel like you're on a fucking exotic vacation i kind of feel like i'm living in the future i'm like if anything can be milked <laughs> is that that mm-hmm. so coconut shit so coconut uh the brand, the brand name yeah it's so you put your so in your go and you're good to go that's anything can be milked that's what like you're doing cows women Alex, what's your favorite cereal uh, uh what's my favorite cereal i enjoy if i i, I probably they <laughs> they make a maple frosted uh mini wheat which i, I love home. very much that sounds yeah, scrumptious. Flavor, I I love maple flavored shit. I don't care if that makes I got me. Some, I got some marshmallows called Dandies. They're maple flavored. Oh my god. Well, hold on a second. What kind of milk are you putting in there? In that maple uh, wheat, maple mini wheats. You just put regular milk, and then it flavors what is the regular milk. milk? Nobody well, uses what, what, nobody yeah, what uses percentage? regular milk anymore. What are you doing? Well, there's a, there's also I put some homo milk. You got to put your homo uh, milk. Do you use homo you know, milk? Yeah, I got your homo milk. You, you've heard of that, milk. right? That's a classic thing. It's a 3.25% cream, so, you know, it's a little more cream for the crop. Mm. That's what we like to say up here in the great white north. And white, it's white like our cream. Mm. And, you know, if you drink a lot of homo milk, your your cum is whiter than ever before. That's what they say, you know. That's why the homos have the whitest cum, you know. You know, blue is the whitest cum, like that movie. Hmm. That homo movie. That was a lot of homo milk. Would oh, you rather just... your cum be blue or your pee be green? No, no. <laughs> uh, your pee be green. Yeah, green. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like forest screen, forest screen though, not close to yellow, like mm. forest. I think I would actually want no blue brown. gum. Okay, I, I, I would brown. much rather have blue blue gum than brown pee. Because you yeah, think they, not a lot of people will see it. Not the current, people will see the current it. color scheme of cum is bad. So yeah, I'm going it's not a cum. great color. I don't like cum color. Like that off gray. Everybody likes cum color. It's like the most common color for walls. In, in, <laughs> I in suppose homes. so. No. Like that eggshell. Depend, uh, depends what you're... Because as we all know, cum stains yellow. And so... Is, is, is it cum does yellow it or cum white? Yeah, it does. It kind of stains gray on a, white, you never had, on a white what? shirt. It stains kind of gray on a white shirt. Okay, so I guess if when, you don't wash, like I guess you don't wash your clothes ever. So yes. <laughs> when I was younger and I was first masturbating, I had a cum wall in my basement. I, there was a this corner in my That's basement really good which fit. was hard to access, and I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I didn't know that? you just put it in a napkin. Is and amazing. Go away. So that's, I would just take my cup and rub it on the wall. That's the wall incredible. Stayed yellow. Was it ever found? No, no. They never found the cum wall. They never to found this day, it. They never Did found the move out of the house. house. Yeah, Did moved out of the house. They demolished it. Somebody. Fa- oh, they demolished. The they demolished it. <laughs> <laughs> Presumably because they found the wall. Yeah, the, <laughs> it's haunted. It's still haunted by the ghost oh of the cum wall. How many gallons of your load did you did you paint the wall it with? It was good. It was like uh, it was like smearing it around like I was There's, some sort of. Uh, there was probably like a half house, half human like spawn being like half born down there. When the yeah. new people bought it, they just like demolished the whole thing. Father, like, father, half, man, half house. Like, Where is my dad? Why have you abandoned me, father? But it was like a grotesque like. Yeah, he's half, half wall. He's got a little arm. <laughs> just like an arm growing out of the wall away. with like yeah. an eyeball on it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's good. That's how semen well, works. We've all been there. I think that would be great if you just rubbed your cum on anything, you'd get a little bit, a little guy out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Rub my cum would, on a rock. I got a it, rock baby now. And it would also love you unconditionally. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you'd masturbate a lot less if that yeah. were the case. It's like I, I had a I had a little keyboard for my computer, and now it has legs and calls me daddy. <laughs> and it loves when I type on it. Oh no. <laughs> It moans when I say <laughs> Yeah. Did we ever talk on this show about the psychologist who used to like fuck dogs? Uh there was oh. I know about the one that fucked dolphins. I don't know about the one that fucked dogs. Oh, I love the dolphin sex too. I'm a huge yeah. fan of that literature. But Yeah, we all love that one. <laughs> uh who Oops. fucked dogs? Was it this? Uh, pa- this was Pavlov's yeah. white white lady niece. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't Pavlov, but it was somebody who did do this. Someone who fucked dogs. Mm-hmm. One. <laughs> this is a great story. One time, a lady who was a psychologist fucked <laughs> dogs. No, it was a dude. It, it was, was a dude. dude? Okay, that's yeah. good. Because that's used. The stereotype is that white women want to be fucked by dogs for some reason. Oh, really? Yeah. Is, yeah, Alex has claimed huh. this stereotype for a while, and I have yet to like see <laughs> an example of it anywhere. <laughs> no, I'm serious because that's what oh, Beauty and the I Beast know. is all about. I remember now. It's not that you guys mentioned it. it I was reading a book about uh, fonts, fonts, like uh, you know the writing shit. There was a font maker that fucked like, dogs. Yes, exactly. What? And he really? was like an early, exactly. He was a, he, the Helvetica guy was a dog fucker. Dog. Okay, let's see. Font maker dog sex. Will this get us there? <laughs> Font maker dog sex. It will get us there, and it and it gets it's getting good now. Uh, Gil Sands. <laughs> Gil, what? His name was. Oh, no, sorry. Eric Gill was his name. Eric Gill was Gil Sands is the name of the font. That everybody I, loves. Gil so Sands much. is the font. Yeah. It's not Comic Sans, but I'm I'm assuming Comic Sans is a later spawn. That was a different of guy. Sands. Presumably didn't fuck uh, dogs. He fucked uh, com- comics, but no, Gil Sands <laughs> is actually very similar looking to Comic Sans. Yeah, uh, it's obviously a Sans Serif. I'm looking at it now. But uh, I I, I want to hear more about the I'll dog tell you. fucking. So uh, I will tell you all about the dog fucking. And it, I think it's, if I remember correctly, it's pretty juicy. So, <laughs> Eric Gill. 
Don't read the whole Wikipedia. Oh, Get to the, the parts thing? where they describe the dog fucking. Get to the parts where they talk about breaching the okay, dog's scanning. anus. Or would he be fucked by dogs? Gil's personal diaries reveal incestuous child sex abuse of his two eldest teenage daughters, incestuous That's relationship bad. with his sisters, and sexual acts on his dog. Ah, there you go. Well, there you go. That's that's it, everybody. Good night, everybody. <laughs> that, thank Think you about for that when you're using Gil Sands. Thank you for listening to uh, House of Decline. Dorian has been our special guest. Listen to Darian Rectangle on Spotify. We'll put a link in there. It's sick and sweet. And um, he's still on Spotify because he's pro Joe Rogan. And I don't fuck dogs.